So to Gothenburg and the new Ulevi Stadium, a modernistic masterpiece of concrete and steel. But England's goalkeeper, Colin McDonald, cannot be intimidated. It's an absolute privilege to see you down at the training ground. The supporters made an award to you at the back end of last season, a Lifetime Achievement Award. You weren't well enough to get it then. You look fighting fit now. <laughs> How are you? I'm better than I was, yes. Much better, thank you. So when you come down here and you briefly saw the lads were out training and those pitches are immaculate, does it make you wish you could wind the clock back? It's like a dream, Yeah. honestly. Um, you know, to, to come here and... I mean, you wouldn't want to go home. No. <laughs> it's, oh, it's fantastic. And, and you've met the current batch of goalkeepers, all lovely lads. Interesting to see you stand alongside them, the big strapping oh, chaps these days. Marvellous. I don't know what you're feeding them on, but... You know Tom, obviously? Yeah. Andrews? Nice to meet you. Adam? Hi, nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Joe? Hello, Joe, nice, nice to meet you. How are you? Goalkeepers, you need this complaint. Yeah, got a, got a lot, haven't we? What are they feeding on you? <laughs> 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 what, have you what are your recollections as a player for the club, Colin? You must have so many, but what do you think back of when you think back to your playing days? Oh, lots and lots of them. One that comes to mind um, was. We had to play a midweek match in Aston at Villa Park uh, at winter time, and uh, about 20 minutes to go, and it just started to snow, big, great big flakes, and it stuck on the ground. And the referee said, "Right, off." So we went off. He stripped off in the bath. Ten minutes later, he came, "Come on, we'll finish the match now." So we had to get up again and go and finish the last 20 minutes off. Ridiculous. But there we are. Thank you all very much. Indeed. Oh, uh, thanks for coming. Nice to meet you. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you. Pleasure to meet you. Keep up the good work. Yeah, we'll try. We'll try, yeah. I'll have to come and get involved one day. <laughs> yes, will do. <laughs> Tom, a lovely little bit of history down at the training ground today. Colin McDonald came down to receive an award and, and meet the goalkeepers. He'll even be before your dad's time, I think, but you'll know all about him and, and the history of, of, of what he brought to this club. Yeah, heard a bit about him, to be honest, without obviously, uh, without obviously seeing him play, of course. Um, but yeah, a real nice afternoon, actually, with all the goalkeepers there, having a chat to Colin and his wife, Anne, um, and, and, a, and a, a brilliant way to mark a Lifetime Achievement Award at Burnley Football Club. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm quite honoured, really, to, to present the award to him. What he's done in his career... Um, Obviously knew bits of it, but in a bit more detail from Tony, who read it out. So yeah, it was a, it was great to listen to, and uh, and a pleasure to to give him that award, get him that award. And just finally, what what is today meant to you, Colin, to come and meet the players and see the place and what Burnley Football Club's doing today in the Premier League? I mean, I just can't, I, I can't grasp how this place has developed. Uh, it's fantastic. Oh. And when you chat to your pals at the bowling club and perhaps watch match of the day, to see Burnley back among the elite, how does that make you feel? Well, they've got to be. Got to be up there, no doubt about it. They're, uh, I mean, they're a small town club. I'd say that respectfully, not disrespectfully. But the, what, what they've done over the years uh, is absolutely incredible. And long may it continue. It's been an absolute joy to meet you today, Colin. I'm glad you've enjoyed your day and uh, enjoy the rest of it. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much.